During Lent, a common practice is focusing on Jesus' passion on the cross. Yet this religious tradition dates back centuries in Rome. The Colosseum, which frequently saw bloodshed and violence, became one of the most unlikely places to meditate on the way of the cross. Yet the monument's technical director, Barbara Nazaro, explains when this prayer began here. A series of stations are made in the 1800s, like this one behind me. It was reconstructed two years ago from the original pieces, in order to be able to do the Way of the Cross. Therefore, the Way of the Cross is an ancient tradition. She said at first, stations would be marked by tombs, but as they wore away, this religious practice becomes forgotten. Years later, to avoid the destruction of this historical arena, the Way of the Cross makes a comeback. The first one to revive it was Pope John XXIII, who made only one station. Then, with Paul VI, the Way of the Cross began again. It wasn't followed with tombs or stations that didn't exist anymore, but instead with a procession. Then it continues to develop, leading even outside and ends under the current terrace of the Temple of Venus in Rome. This is where popes continue to pray the way of the cross on Good Friday of every year. A selected few start at the cross inside the Colosseum, pray at each of the stations inside, and then end outside the monument. It's been many, many years since the last pope entered the Colosseum to pray them. John Paul II was the last one to do so. It's a deep and very heartfelt religious practice. This year, the meditations for the stations will be written by an Italian nun, Sister Eugenia Bonetti, who has first-hand experience fighting against human trafficking. Thus, this will be the central focus of this special prayer on Good Friday.